Good day, Mrs. Congratulations, Martin, on your testimonial. I hope you have a great game against Dundee tonight. Ten years at a football club, that's an amazing achievement. So, on behalf of Gorf Athletic Supporters Club, well done. Hi, Foxy. Just want to wish you all the very best for your big match this evening and for the rest of your testimonial year. Okay. You've been an absolute legend for Forfer um, and the fans really enjoy all your goals. So, congratulations, Foxy, and to you, Lauren, and the rest of your family, all the very best. Good luck. So, Baxter, how happy are you to be here? How much of a supporter are you, Foxy? Do you wish them all the best for the future? And tonight we'll four for win. That's great, thanks so much. Lauren, could you tell us what does this evening mean for, for Martin? Oh, it's just well, it's, it's massive for us. It's just um, such a big thing. I can't believe it's been 10 years, to be honest. Um, we're four for fans now, you know, as a family. We absolutely adore the club and everything about it. And, you know, it's just such a massive thing for us tonight. We're so proud, so proud of Martin. Have you lived through his career with him all the way yeah, through? Yeah, absolutely. I'm, I come to most home games um, still. Um, not always good, you know, it's been <laughs> up and down. But um, yeah, I try to come as many as I can, don't we, kids? Yeah. <laughs> and for the, for the kids, um, no, Ava, is that right? You yeah. Ava. What, what do you think of Daddy? Um, he's, he's really good. Football and he scores most of the goals. Oh, I don't know about that. Um, <laughs> when he gets a game. And <laughs> um, uh, and he's been playing football for longer than I've, yeah, I than I've been living. And longer than you're only eight, Eva. So he yeah. was yeah. We were here long before you were born, weren't we? Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'll come back to you, what you come think about it. Okay. <laughs> you really must be the oldest daughter. Yeah. Yeah. Your name again is? Mia. Mia. And what's your thoughts on tonight? What does this mean for you and for your dad? Um, I think it's good. I don't know. <laughs> I'll try, Mia. Yeah. Are you excited to be here? Yeah. 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 And, and the young man that you're holding, the yeah. future of Forfra Athletics. Luca. Now yeah. he's going all shy on us. Are you Luca. all shy, Luca? Do you, are you, do you like football, Luca? Do you like Daddy? Yeah. Are, you, yeah. are you proud of Daddy? Is this Daddy's special day? Yeah? Okay. <laughs> Would you like to say something to everybody that turns, that's going to turn out tonight? To, yeah, to absolutely. Martin? Just um, absolutely um, thank everyone for coming. Um, we love Forford. We're so proud. Um, anyone that showed up tonight, I know it's a chilly one tonight, so especially tonight. Um, I just thank you so much for everything over the years to the fans, um, to all the board, anybody that's helped out. Um, you know, you've made me feel really at home with us as a family, and we're so proud. Good. Thank you very much. Good. Thank you. And have you any budding future football either for Forth oh, Athletic I don't know about or Forth for Farmington? Possibly, possibly. Do you like football, Eva? You do, don't you? Mm. Yeah. I don't think Luke will have a choice. I think he'll. Yeah. <laughs> I think he'll have to play football. <laughs> and finally, for the kids, just a simple yes or no. Are you proud of Daddy tonight? Yeah. 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 We're proud. Yeah. Hope you enjoy the game. Thank okay, you very thanks much. for joining.
report for substitution. We have number 20, Frankie Devine, on for number 6. Mark joining us after your testimonial match how did you enjoy the evening overall yeah it was, a, it was a good game i thought it was a very very good game dundee played well um i think they shocked us a wee bit at the start with how sharp they were but then you've got to expect that with a premier league full-time team um, and paul's set up a lot of first team players to be fair so um that was a good test for us but i thought we handled it quite well first half and then the, the fitness and quality told in the second half but it was, it was a good run out aye yeah uh, was it good to um, see some of your old mates back uh, who used to be in the team. Aye, like, yeah, it's, it's always good to play with your mates. Um, a few of them maybe aren't in as good shape as they used to be, but they can still play a bit. Um, but like I say, for one last time, it was, it was just good to be on the part of my mates. Aye, it was really good. So that's 10 years of fourth. Do you think that's easier in sort of lower league football than, say, Premiership, or do you think it's quite difficult to actually stay at a club um, for such a long time? I think it is difficult, yeah, but in a way, you, you probably are right, it probably is easier um, at a lower level, um, and I don't mean that in a, a detrimental way, I just mean the higher up your league the, you go, the margins are so small and managers are under so much pressure, the higher up you go, and players tend to be just changed around all the time, if things aren't working great, then it's a few months and boom, you're away, whereas um, down here, don't get me wrong, it's, it's pressure down here as well, but... Um, Aye, it seems to be that if a manager likes you in the lower leagues, you'll, you'll, you'll hang about a bit longer. So do you reckon you'll be here in another ten years? <laughs> <laughs> Did you not see me that I was trying to move out there? Do I'll keep me here in another ten hours? Um, nah, I doubt it. I doubt it. You never know in, in football ahead if I go into coaching or management, I may be back at the club and that, that would be great, but I'm just concentrating on next Saturday. Um, Berwick at home and we'll, we'll take it from there. Certainly. Uh, I know many of the fans I could hear um, shouting wanting some dodgy penalties today. Did you, did you feel like uh, running into the Dundee box and falling over? I was about to say, I know it's the kind of given thing, but we couldn't get near the Dundee box for a half hour <laughs> spell, so that was never going to happen. But if Dundee got a penalty, I might have taken it for them. But nah, I know it's a kind of a, a wee hidden rule in a, in a testimonial, but it's it's not a big deal, if I'm being honest. I probably would have missed it anyway. <laughs> Were you, were you disappointed when the keeper saves a free kick then? Aye, to be fair, um, I've got previous with um, Mitch, uh, I've tried that a couple of times when he was at Stranraer, so he obviously had my number. Just about sneaked in, but nah, he done well to be fair. So, uh, that's all the celebrations for this year, you had your meal earlier in the year, you've got nothing else planned for this season? Um, there's possibly a golf day towards the end of the season, but we'll, we'll wait and see about that. Um, Hopefully we'll try and get it organised if we've got enough time, but um, no, it's been a good year, like I say, it's been really, really good, I've enjoyed it.
And do you think the perfect way to end the season would be to win the league? That's the aim. Aye, obviously, and it's in our own hands now. Um, we're having a wee, a wee blip just now, but then we're still picking up a good point up in Elgin on Saturday. I thought, to be fair, um, and the last 50 minutes, I thought we were pushing really well. The boys kind of reacted to to the situation we were in. So um, hopefully, we can kick on and take that into the beginning of the game on Saturday and get a win to get us back on track for winning the league. Yeah.